Yeah, strongly recommend that you go and see um, Josie Long. Um, really unusual, quirky sense of humour. She's charming, I suppose, is the word you would use for that. Sean Hughes. Um, Sean Hughes is a, uh, a really well-known comedian. Um, got a very laid-back kind of wit, I think, Sean Hughes. Uh, I like watching him. Also, Felix Dexter. He does, he does stand-up, but he also does these really funny and engaging characters. Uh, and last time I saw him at the Fringe, he, he just did stand-ups. This time he's, he's doing these multiple, well, he calls it multiple personalities in order. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that, because that's one of the things I think Felix Dexter, is, Felix Dexter is really good at. He creates these incredible characters. Um, Oh uh, yeah, Stuart Lee. Stuart Lee, uh, probably one of the you know one of the great comedy uh, people on the fringe. I think, in fact, great comedian, great writer. Um, he's got two shows, and this is a one-off event. It's Stuart Lee, Silver Stubley, and then Stuart Lee at the Stand Comedy Club, um, uh, virtually for m most of the fringe. There, he's married to Bridget no, Bridget Christie husband and the next thing I want to go is uh, yeah there's Frisky and Manish clearly I'm looking forward to them so I was down Jeremy Lyon Jeremy Lyon it created this character as a children's TV presenter got a bit of a drink problem unfortunately um, and he does this act uh, featuring Jeremy Lyon uh, I've seen him once, and he was a, I think he was um, mentioned as, he was a runner-up in the Perrier Awards when I saw him, and he was worth every single penny, incredibly funny um, bloke and character. So that, that's all the comedy bits that I want to, uh, I want to go and see. Uh, this year's um, a Festival Guide, it's actually got three covers, and this is, I think this is the first one, and then the second cover uh, starts off where this one finished, and it goes up, so that'll, that's interesting to, to look at. And indeed, there's a, uh, there's a video explaining how the cover of uh, this year's um, festival came about. So, that's the comedy section. I'll come back and do another comedy, uh, the next section which is, what's the next section? I think it's dance events. I love going to see dance events on, on the fringe. Um, and then exhibitions. So there's dance, events, music, musicals and opera, theatre, and then venue guide. And right at the start is a section, is a children's section. A lot of people complain about comedy um, taking over, uh, if you like, from um, comedy taking over from uh, you know uh, theatre, if you like, in the fringe. Um, I don't think it has. It just occupies um, two or three of the large venues, but there's a myriad number of smaller venues, and you know, and also some very big venues that that don't do very much comedy, stand-up, or straight uh, performance comedy. Uh, the assembly rooms, for instance, you know, they do not focus uh, on comedy. Uh, the C venues, they don't focus uh, on comedy. And although the underbelly might feature a lot of comedy, it also does a lot of other things as well. You know, my feeling is that, you know, if your act, be it serious or not serious, is good enough, um, you're going to compete with everybody regardless. Okay, so, I'll do the next bit a bit later on.